Hey, as you can see, we're not quite in our normal location today. Got one of my sister-in-laws, uh, who's an artist, photographer now, but it's one of her early paintings that we've had in a bathroom of one or another in a while. Hold on a second here. Ooh, bright. Let's see. That looks good. There, that's better. Anyways, I'm not in my normal location, like I said. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to be doing some CK1. Uh, spring has officially sprung here in Michigan, it looks like. So, you know, it's like just under 60 degrees every day for lucky. So, there you go. But a uh, great time to put this to use. One of my favorites, my first and possibly favorite scent soap from soap scent from PAA. Uh, I'll talk about that more in a second. I'm going to get it lathered up off camera, sort of. Uh, might splice in a cute video of me taking my kids hiking here, but then we're going to be doing a little head-to-head -head action with the Gillette uh, Rocket Parat and the Gillette Rocket HD 500, uh, both with a fourth U Storco Titan in them to keep things even. And yeah, we'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll get it going. Then you take it off and put this right here in the boat. Wonderful. Hmm? All right. So we got it ready to go. Get the lather on. Mm. One of my all time favorite scents. I promised myself when I killed the CK1, I'm coming back for a CK6 set. A, um, either the, I can't decide if I wanna try the solid, which I'll probably do, or ante up for the EDP. And depending on the time of year, I might even get a scent vent to go with it. We'll see. I missed it this year. It's kind of late in the season. Really, it isn't, but in some ways it is. So, rockets. And I'm using the StarCraft because I don't have the rocket. I don't need a 26 millimeter. Um, not on a, on a brush because one, I'm a small person with a small face. And two, I'm not a head shaver as you can see. Cut them nice and slick and shiny for you today to keep in spirit of the 1960s, which is kind of what this, um, what the uh, Good Vibrations is, is modeled after. You know, the boardwalk barber shop it's got the the surf wagon on the front and everything so let's talk about rockets so what makes a rocket so we have a razor here right that looks like it's just a regular 40 super speed and in many ways it is except for when you do this so you see this gap down here now i don't have a 40s uh super speed on hand at, at the moment they're either in too terrible a condition or overpriced whenever i find them so this is a Parat. This is made in England. Uh, it was made, as you can see, the diameter of the of the knob and the main handle are the same. So that's the giveaway as to why this is a Parat and not a regular rocket. Um, mine is interesting because it is patent pending, which means it's either late 40s or early 50s to the best of my research. So if you have any more information about this, I would appreciate it. So made in England uh, for the British and German markets. So there you go. So, and this has a third, fourth use, Dorco Titan, like I said. So I'm just gonna get going here. I guess we're doing the right side with it. So supposedly, this will shave just like a, a 40 super speed. There 
very thick lather here. I do prefer CK6 to CK1. I think it's a little easier to work with. Some people think it's thirstier. I think it lathers up a lot quicker. So I have this and I have a speakeasy that's in CK1 that I need to kill so I can justify. There we go. Good cushion though. A little thick, little thickness on the means there's a good cushion really is what it means to me. I also find CK6 to be on the slicker side. So if you've somehow found this and haven't tried PAA, I said this in another video, but what I recommend is getting a starter kit because the Symmetry Razor is actually a really nice quality razor. It'd be a good first travel razor. And the Green Ray is not my favorite looking brush from them. And I feel like it's the smallest in terms of the handle size and the knot. It's still 24 millimeters, but I, it's a good travel size brush and everything too. And you get like a really good uh, sampling of whatever scent you picked in CK6 and Splash. So, um, if you're on the fence about where to start with PAA, I would start with the travel kit. All right. Well, that's side one with the plot. And let's take a look at this one. So in addition to having the, the gap here that you see when you crank the knob, this bad boy is the HD 500. It also has this little gap up here on the neck. That's the telltale sign that it's a HD. It weighs a lot more. Um, this is in many ways a perfect vintage razor. I call, I call this the poor man's aristocrat. And you can get aristocrat juniors that are basically Basically, um, you know, rockets. They just have some differences in the, the flat cap and or whatever else that make them aristocrats and where they were made and where they were sold and how they were marketed. And like, you, it's, it's complicated and I'm not the person to tell you about it. You can do your own research. You can ask Scott. But this is a this is a heavier razor. It is a much smoother shaver, in my opinion. Now Scott was able to get his hands on probably the next rocket that I would want so bad, and that is the the flare tip, the red tip one. So it basically looks like your Gillette red tip super speed. Only it's got that flare, and it's got that uh, gap right here, and supposedly the the rockets the braided the made in england razors anyways are just just a touch more efficient they have the tolerances are just a bit better than their american brethren so i'm really curious i might have to borrow that from him because if you don't know my favorite vintage Razor it is my Gillette Red Tip. But I have to admit the uh, HD is a close second. In fact, I might even just finish the shave with it. I just really wanted to talk about rockets and what I have in my collection. Um, what else can we say about rockets? Can't remember the name of the French market one. They're they're the most difficult to come by. You can find them on Darwin and places. You can find them on Etsy. They're always coming from France. They have a yellow case. I think it's like some Mont something Blanc. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna butcher it. I'm not gonna talk about it. And then the regular rocket, which really the only. 
difference with the regular rocket. And see, it's not as efficient um, as rocket for me. I would normally use. This is like a second shave razor for me. It's been a few days. I'm getting some pull here in my heavier growth areas. I just gotta shut up and get this part so it's not as uncomfortable as it could be. Anyways, the regular rocket, the biggest difference between it and the Parat is the knob has a thicker diameter than the rest of the handle. So it looks like a Parat only it has a, you know, the knob's gonna end up being about the same size. So it's gonna look like this basically. Where it's got, if I can line them up, as you can see, a thicker bootay. Which she goes in love with thicker bootay. I know I do. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really trying to find one. Really, this is one of those shapes for me where like, I'm looking at these razors that I don't use it often and trying to decide like, hey, I'm gonna put some more water on my face first. Do I need this? I basically reached Faya's mode with, with vintage where I'm, Deciding whether or not I really need all these razors I've collected. If I'm not using them and they're not gonna get sent out to get replated and put in a case and you know, I'm, I don't have a lot of interest in starting my own Gillette Museum and I'm not crapping on anyone who does because that's, that's what you want to do. That's great. But I want to use everything I get. I don't want something to be same with everything in my life. Same with knives. You know, I don't want these safe queens. You know, if I'm not using it, it goes. If I don't love it, it goes. Like, so I've spent the last year collecting vintage and I've sold a lot. I got rid of my fat boy recently. I'm gonna get rid of my, I sold my Slim, the shit Krona. So this Parat might be hitting the market. I also have my British tech that's probably gonna go up as well. Pretty much if it's not nailed down and I don't, Love it, it's gonna go. That laser that razor is just too light for me. So yeah, all day, every day it's the HD. Now if you watch my original comparison video between these two that I did this summer, I was borrowing or less fall? Winter. It was the winter, sorry. I was borrowing like just literally a bag, probably worth like two grand of razors from Scott. And I got up really early one morning and did a really misinformed rocket comparison video with the HD and a regular, and I didn't know what was what, and the rocket then ended up getting the notch just a little bit. And since I've got my own HD, um, and man, look at this thing real quick. So look how beautiful this is, right? Do you wanna know where it gets bad? Oh, it's just like, I don't even know how they did this, even the inside is in pretty good condition. It's a user grade. The outside is almost, the handle and everything is exquisite, but then on the bottom cap, it's just brassed out, man. So, whatever the hell I was talking about, the Parat's probably gonna go, I don't know yet. I mean, it's an interesting piece because it's patent pending, so it's not, and I've had a hard time finding information about patent pending um, parats. So if you know anything, please, again, please tell me. But this HD is just, if you have an opportunity to get one, and I ordered this from Darwin Shaving from France, and it is a bit of a leap of faith not knowing, of course, I mean, they did a really good job of, they didn't like necessarily hide the bottom cap, but I got it because I couldn't believe how good condition it was in. It was 50 bucks. That was like 50 bucks, 50 euros, whatever shipped. I was like, done deal. Let's go. 
and then it shows up and I figured out why. I was like, oh, that bottom cap. So like, would I really want to send this in just to get the bottom cap replated? Because honestly, if I were going to do that, I would probably just ante up and go like rhodium or something, but then it's not worth as much as an aristocrat. And I've shaved with a couple of aristocrats. I've shaved with the president that I borrowed and they're too mild. Like I get why people like them and I get why they're expensive and why they were marketed the way they were, but I like some blade too. Now, using one of these basically tells me that I, the, the Parat, I don't really need to look into getting a 40 Super, which I really wasn't anyways. Cause I just feel like for the shade you get and the comfort level, it's not really there. So for me, I'm looking at probably starting to save up to get more modern razors. But I also don't like lightweight razors. Like I know Jonathan just did his review of the aggressive Hansen. And someone commented and said, I feel like it's more the assertive Henson, and Jonathan agreed with that. But he still adds a, a stainless steel handle to it to make it what he wants to do, which I don't really want to do. I mean, it's not that expensive of a razor, but if I'm going to buy it and either never use the handle that came with it, because I prefer heavier razors as well. So I'm not just saying, well, Jonathan does it, but I'm going to have to invest in what, probably not a timeless, probably just a razor rock, but I don't really want to do that. So I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to drop money on a case to aristocrat, British made, you go right ahead. There's nothing wrong with that. You will be happy. It is a great shaver. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from the efficiency. I got some really damn smooth shaves. And not even just the shaving process, but the after, you know, the afterwards, like how smooth my face was with Scott's aristocrat. The, it was a 66 that I borrowed. So I'm not going to take anything away from it. It's just not something I'd want to spend that much money on, personally. All right, I'm going to do a couple pickups off camera. Um, and then I'm going to put this on. But really, so if you check out this video, you don't you don't you only need to see the post. I mean, I might come back and tell you how smooth everything is, but um, you've seen it before. You don't need to see it again. But anyways, so uh, if you want to parat, hit me up, <laughs> basically, I guess. I need to stop doing these shaves, like my Fat Boy Friday shave, where I talk myself out of keeping a razor. But that's what keeps happening. So reaffirm my love for the HD and not the dislike for the parat, but just so it would be better served in a different home. So I'm thinking that's probably what's going to happen with that. And that's not how I intended to make this video, but here we are. All right. Okay.